Yo, awesome guys, Figs to you here in today's video. We're going to be doing our top 10 figures of 2018. And yeah, guys, I've been looking forward to doing this video so much, and I'm only going to be counting figures which I've got. I'm not going to, it's so many figures which I would say, but I haven't got them yet. They're not out in the UK and stuff like that, so I can't include them on the list. But yeah, I just want to say some honorable mentions to the W. Not to be elite 56 AJ Styles, but I think came out this year in the UK. And it might have came out in America last year, 2017, but it, I think at 28, if it did come out 2018, yes, year in the UK, I want to say I'll mention that. The Engine Scripts Finn Balls, awesome figure as well. The Elite Fashion Police, 51, yeah, no, 61, sorry, no, yeah, 61. Elite 59 American Alpha, Chad Gable, Jason Jordan. The new Elite 61 and 59, no, 16 and 15, no, 16 and 61 New Day in the American thing, which I have not got. The Elite 63 Shinsuke Nakamura, which I currently do have with Ringside in my order, but I've got to pay the custom fees and wait for the letter to come through, so I actually haven't got that figure yet, so I'm not counting it. But if I did have that figure, it'd probably easily be my number one, not gonna lie. See, and I and also got the top talent Seth and Shelton Benjamin and Alvin Corporate in the Seth Runs Elite 64 I got. She, yeah, I'm sort of supposed to make up so I just wanted to tell you now, I've got the Elite 60, but well, Seth Rollins, top talent Seth Rollins, which they would be definitely my list. So I just want to say huge honourable mentions to all them if I did have them. Even the entrance, which is probably really, really cool. And W Shop Harley boys. And yeah, and any of the Elite 55s, no, I don't think they came out 2017. But yeah, I also want to say, I did not, I'm not going to be posting my WWE top 10 rest of the match of 2018 and top 10 rest of the year on the YouTube channel. We'll do it on my Instagram at Figs. Let's go 30 minutes, go check that out. Because I actually haven't got enough time. When I was recording the top 10 matches, he kept saying recording failed. Well, I had my face over like the pictures and stuff when I was editing it. It just wouldn't work. So I wasted so long trying to do that and it would not work. So I'll do it on my Instagram and also going up for um, you know, later for New Year's Eve. And I need to do two customs. One for New Year's Eve and one for New Year's Day. And it hits midnight here in the UK or like New Year's Day. So I want to post two customs. I need to work on them. Without no fear of June rambling on. Let's get into number 10. We have the Elite. Sorry if I get the Elite series is wrong too. We got the Elite 60 or 59, I think it's 60, Triple H. And guys, look at this head scan. Definitely the best Triple H we've ever got. Because of the black knee pads, awesome entrance vest, black tire, sledgehammer. It's all about the jacket and the head scan, really, in my opinion. So that makes my number 10 list. Not much to say about it, just an awesome figure. And then coming in at number 9, we have the, the Elite SummerSlam 2018. Seth Rollins and to set the tribe on this figure is absolutely awesome. And like I said, the top talents from the Elite Six Forward, I took the um, spot, like took the cape, but I, feel, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Fix the cape, but we don't have that figure. Here's my ring, so I don't do technically have them, but I'm technically I'm going in my backs and yeah, in my hands, so I can't be counted. But we, I added a custom Gene Addy shirt, go check them out as well. Gene Addy on Instagram and his eBay page and huge channel, so that's who we got the shirts off. So we have that one. And at number eight, we do have no oh my god I, I literally this figure it's just unbelievable uh, this i keep looking at this i feel like i want to pay higher but i have so many figures so i thought at one point i was gonna i was gonna say number seven was number eight so can i even count like we have the elite entrance greats jeff hardy and the first one of the entry for the new series, obviously it's been out before, but since they brought him back in 2018 or 2017, we've got this entry for Jeff Hardy. This is awesome, we've got his face paint, got the awesome shirt. If you take her off, got the plain black tank mold shirts, and you can see absolutely awesome tank, black tank top there. So we've got hair on it, which is annoying. So yeah, this is awesome. I think the head can do glow up in the dark too, if you do that. So if you hide under the light. So here's my number eight figures of the year, Jeff Hardy. Now, moving in, who is number next? I have all the figures scattered around me, so it's hard, hard to remember. At number seven, this was hard, and I literally got these today in the mail call, which I have not posted, and I'm not going to make a video or anything. It is on my Instagram, but I'll see at the end of the video, I think I got, but part of this mail call, we did get at number seven, the Elite 64 Usos, and guys, I also want to say there's multiple teams in here, like tag teams and like three people. Like trios, and I want to count them as ones. They're just as good as each other. I know the J is slightly better than the Jimmy, but I want to include these. Got these day comes with the awesome accessories, nice cloth hoodie. J comes with this nice soft removable, like body woman thing with the bandana, which got Elite Fifty Four, and and these are six for so it's like being ten series. So we got the interchangeable hands with the white boots, the black socks. I've seen a few people do the. Why is that leg so bent? 
I had to heat that up and sit that out, so I was so bent. But yeah, um, people have done like the hand squats, you get a white wrist tape, but white boots and stuff. Karen, but who's I'm sorry about that. But shout out to you if you know who you are, who've done them. There's a few people I've seen do that. So that's awesome. So we've got Elite 60 for Usos, definitely the best Usos they've ever released. So we add them here, we got them today, so incredible, and they just knocked everyone down. Uh, this always happens to me. Stay up. And in, that, in at number six, I did put the top talents set. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, oh, I've seen several in front of me. Finn, Balor, and this again is incredible, guys. Another the top talents, he's really, they did really nail it this year. Perhaps the broad being a release, run from release of the Elite 58. Again, this figure is just incredible. This would have been like definitely in the top three or figure of the year if it came with that cloth jacket, but because the interchangeable hands, so when he just that pose and he goes like that, <laughs> best attempt ever of doing that. But yeah, um, you could even change the hands for the tight end, so he's doing a perfect 10, that'd be awesome too. So you could, I've seen a few people do that fix up too. So if you want to do that fix up, there you go and shout out to whoever did that. You know who it is if you're watching this. So yeah, this battle is amazing. This is WrestleMania 34 tile when he wore the rainbow. But they gave Pride Tower, which is okay. I wish he came out as a demon, but here we go. That comes with this awesome head scan. It's like looking at a mini Finn Balor scene. It's doing a little paint chippage here, which I still need to ask Tom off. So they're, out. they're on the leg, too. It's like, oh, I could just be in my ring and just done. And I do have a bit of, like, scaffage on the jacket. But obviously, I had, I had these in my ring for so long for, like, multiple days. So they had loads of figures on top of them. But I honestly think it did come like that, though. So that's my number six on my list. We're not even six. Yeah, yeah, there is actually. What am I even on about? And at number five, who? This is just so hard to do. Literally, it's so hard. I don't know how I managed to choose these, but it was so hard. I did put in at number five on the list the top talents, AJ Styles. Again, another top talent in this. Could honestly be in the top three again this aj is so awesome one of the best ages we got but honestly i know people do like this one a lot of the rest of my faith but i really do love his elite 56 and if i did know 100 came up this year i would have probably put that like number three so i just love that blue attire favorite color is red and black so i would have loved the red and black one we do have a customer which got my friend ages ago but that'd have been awesome if we had that attire from mattel hopefully we do one day i'm king of things with loot that or sky king customers now known Shout out to him, but yeah, and that age is just incredible. So that's my number five on my list. Now coming in at number four, we have AOP office. Oh, yeah, just AOP. Not even put office anymore. AOP A come in raise out, and these figures are incredible. Comes with them NXT Championship the updated ones, which do have other figures at the moment. But yeah, these figures are just absolutely awesome. So definitely recommend getting these figures if you haven't already. It comes these awesome masks too, so there's Razor. Like, look at this head scan, just brilliant. They do stand up easier, so like, you just don't want to stand up for me, like in this video. Like, always for me and any figures. Here with Acom, which again is awesome. You can, they're both just as equal good as each other, so you can really choose one of it over the other. Now, moving into the top three, and I, again, this figure, if you do not have this in your collection, even if you're not a big fan of it, I just urge you, recommend you get this figure. Coming at number three, we have the Elite 59 Kurt Angle. And guys, this figure is absolutely perfect. This is Team Angle attire. Comes with a cloth hoodie, the red with the white stars. Team Angle cloth hoodie, which is so cool. Comes with the gold medals, awesome head scan. And this figure is just perfect, guys. I can't say anything else about it. You have not got this figure. I just recommend you get it. It's like, it's nothing to bad to say about it. I wouldn't change anything about this figure. I like the torso, rip there is the arms, the head scan, I just the attire, I just wouldn't change anything about it, it's just a perfect figure in my opinion. We need to back this travel up a little bit because we're getting out of space here. Now coming in at number two, we do have another tag team, the epic moments, Hardy Boys. Oh, guys, I absolutely love these figures, if you did see, we did get these in the mail call this year on the channel for my birthday the 31st of march that's my birthday we did get these it's hardy boys which i bought my own money but i did pick them up for my birthday so they come back on holiday i believe i can't even remember i've been in some holidays this year but go check out my video if you haven't already that's when i got these in 
the Matt's incredible. Love the head scan with a blonde streak, and he's doing the yeah, the elite head scan with the blonde hair, nice silver and black attire. They did bring out the elite fifty seven. 58 matte with the green and the other head scan. I'm not sure. I do like both head scans a lot. The green doesn't go much detail into there. And yeah, I noticed the Elite 57 Jeff, which I hadn't traded, which I wish I never know. Need to get back, which is just a nursing figure. That was just an honorable mention too, if you've got that figure. Or well, I used to have it, so you know, I'm counting now. Then we have the F entrance greats. Then greats, epic moments, entrance greats is there. Epic moments, Jeff Hardy. And like, we got the awesome head scan. Got a nice like lightning or waves or whatever, like yellow light blue turquoise green on the sleeves white belt comes with the black tank tops and nose it was like tank tops fine like that on that one when you've got like shoulders neck and shoulders but this one because it's like all part of like the whole suit you still see the tank top more which is a bit annoying not too annoying it's not really that noticeable which it sort of is but again it's just a bit annoying but still amazing figures and at number one you probably all guessed there we have the rise the undisputed era shock the system boom guys these figures you know how i feel about these we have the undisputed era coming in at number one and let's see if we can get them all to stand you have got carla riley here and i need to find that title somewhere which is by the side of me hopefully i can find it now <laughs> somewhere right here okay i found carla riley let's do his air guitar Oh my Okay, we're just not even gonna attempt to pull them back up. So yeah guys at number one we have the undisputed era epic moments free pack and obviously this North American Championship didn't come with all these NXT titles or this custom shirt which we got in the mail the other day from custom and score no custom and score figure and score shirts. But yeah, absolutely awesome in these titles as well. But and also we got the FC, FCW Universal Championship from FCW Simpson when he won the title. So go check that out too. My friend Enigma, cast Enigma Customs and Enigma and Scott Customs. Sorry for the name, bro. I always forget I've got an Enigma in it. But yeah, that's um the old champion. I used to survive. See, we should be up very soon. And I'm in the Rumble, and he'll be defending his title. So yeah, these figures are absolutely incredible. So here we have Carl O'Reilly. Looking absolutely awesome because of the cloth shirt. This did come with a cloth shirt as well, which again is on my custom Roderick Strongston. The last year's gonna be up in the batch mid January or end of January, so I'm not gonna show you that. That shirt's on him ready. Now I'm finishing near the after, to be fair. I just need that logo designs and like a boot, which I can get on. So I might have to buy another new parts just because of that boot will not go on. So here's Kyle. Now moving on to, in my opinion, the best head scan out of the three. Bobby Fish. Now this is just looking at a mini Bobby Fish, in my opinion, like a picture. This is just the best. One of the best head scans of the year with up there with on Nakamura, the top time Seth Rollins, the AJ. Here we have Adam Cole, baby. Got his squint in his eyes. This looks absolutely incredible. So that's the Adam Cole, and here's the Kyle Riley scan as well. So, yeah, guys, that's been my top 10 figures of the year. Let me know in the comments down below if you agree with me. Some I missed out, or do you want one? Would you change the order? Let me know in the comments down below because I'm interested in knowing all that good stuff. Comments down below. Please let me know. Please like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. In the next one will be. Oh yeah, and before I have to go, the other thing I got in the mail call too is this basic Ronda Rousey. Absolutely incredible. First time in the line. In this autograph. Carmella print. Hand signed by Carmella. Mella is money. Absolutely love this. One of my favourite women's superstars at the moment. Up there with Becky and Charlotte and Aston. Just love Carmella to death. So here's that. It's a superstar anyway, let's just get that clear. <laughs> so yeah, oh yeah, let's see guys. Let me in the comments down below, all that good stuff. So I wanna know. Well, your top 10 is in, like, which would you choose and who your top 10 was. And if you agree with me, so all I could in the comments down below. Please like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Which will be in 2019.